Welcome back, folks. We are steaming out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean right now. This is definitely a different video. Since we've been back to Maine, we really have not stepped outside of our comfort zones. And uh, today, we're about to cross that line. Just a few days ago, Alex showed me this video of these two young dudes, 16 and 17, Wyatt and Griffin, reeling in this 700-pound tuna. It, like, made the news. Absolutely broke the internet as far as fishing goes. Ended up on CNN, many other news sites, even like made it to UK. We're talking about a bluefin tuna, like the icon, the pinnacle of sport fishing in general. Uh, the craziest part about the video is Griffin, one of the dudes who reeled in the fish, was wearing a rig shirt, which is one of my old brands. So long story short, Alex reached out to them. We lined up some dates. Here we are now on their rig and uh, we're doing some tuna fishing. This is definitely a change of pace, a change of scenery. Not a creek fishing video, not a pond restoration video, but I'm just pumped to do something different. Something that I really don't know anything about. I've been, I've been tuna fishing once before. It was an unforgettable experience and hopefully today we can make some more memories. Huge shout out to these boys for showing us around. It's gonna be an absolute day, so you don't wanna miss this one. They're alive. Careful, it doesn't open up. Oh Ooh. my god. That's what I'm talking about right there. Nice. Why? I got three, a few more here. Well, there we have it. There's some Primo Bay right there. When did you guys grab that? Yesterday? Yeah, last night. Last night. That That's some Whole Foods organic, 100% free range squid right there, boys. Stretching the leaders to get the kinks out. So it um, doesn't like sit like that in the water. It's just Nice and straight. Why are we moving off this hook? So, uh, yeah, grab the hook. Right now, we get some, just got the fish finder fired up. We got some bait on the bottom. And uh, we're just gonna set up, uh, drop the anchor here in a second, and get in the lines in the water, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need one of those hearings, bro. Oh, we're tight, we're tight. We're tight, boys. Perfect. <laughs> Big corner. <laughs> Boys, we're hooked up. It took a few hours, but we made it happen. That's the herring, wasn't it? Yeah. Literally caught this herring today on the Sabiki rig. How unreal is that? That's a serious food chain challenge right there. Ooh, this is gonna be a fight. We got a long one ahead of us. All right, what are we in, like 15 minutes now, 20 minutes, something like that? It's not a megalodon, but it's a good one. It's my first tuna hookup of the season, courtesy of the boys. Oh my God. Definitely like close to 85. Nice fat fish. I needed this. Nothing against Creek Smallmouth, but that's for the birds when it comes to tuna fishing. Woo! I love it. Right yeah, just sideways. Yeah, just keep bumping it. Good. I'm gonna be on top. That's the magic word, leader, and then she pisses off. Don't do that. I just got that. Bring that back here. I just got No, 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 no. Hardest fight fish in the world. Yeah. Oh, I'm not concerned. This is fun. Four down, four down, four down, four down, four down. 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 Four
I want that leader. No, no, no. I want that leader. He's got a pinwheel watch. Yep. Yep, got him yeah. on a good I'm all the way back yeah. around, yeah. Leader again. Oh, you're fat and sassy. Wow, holy. I love these things. So cool. Yeah, here he comes. Good job, John. Yes, sir! That's a nice set, bro. Even fish. Good, pick the con, there's no rush on There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Woo! There we go. Nice job. Thanks nice work, John. Nice work, boys. Thanks a lot. Nice you guys are legends. It takes not one, not two, not three, but a whole crew of people to land a fish like that. First bluefin tuna of the season. Oh my god. Unreal. Hell yeah. Oh, let's go. Nice little toonie. Dude, it's just like so unpredictable. I mean, these fish are like some of the most cunning, powerful, crazy fish that you can encounter out in the Atlantic Ocean, or just the ocean period. And here you are with one right in front of you. It's just, it's, it's such a good feeling to dupe one of these fish. Again, it takes a whole team to make this happen. Huge shout out to everyone on this boat. Oh, oh my freaking God, dude. It's nothing giant, but it's a freaking big tuna for a fish. It's huge. That's probably close to 250, 300. Yeah. For them to be a keeper, it's gotta be 73. So we just wanted to make sure before we harpoon them, we were gonna be able to sell them, you know what I mean? Let's go! Dude, that was some serious chaos, some serious mayhem. Look at this big beauty. This is just such a change of pace from what we've been doing. All, like my main focus of this, this trip, this one day trip out here uh, on the coast of Maine was to get outside the comfort zone, do something different, meet some new people and fish some new waters. We've been doing a lot of bass fishing, a lot of like low key stuff, but this, this is like, this is huge, quite literally huge. That is a monstrous fish. The process basically, when it, when it comes to tuna fishing is, you know, you set your baits out, you wait for the fish to come, you're looking at the graph constantly. Once that fish comes up, takes the bait, sucks the blue down, or takes one of these rods down, you fight the fish. It may take 30 minutes, it, take, it may take seven hours. These boys have fought fish for 14 hours, which is just insane to me. That's over half a day, quite literally. And then once the fight is over, you harpoon the fish, so you have an extra line, an extra set of tension, so therefore the fish isn't gonna snap the line or throw the hook. Put the tail rope on the fish, and after that, you swim it. Uh, the point of swimming it is so it doesn't cook itself internally. These fish will literally destroy their insides, destroy their meat, because they move so much. They're such powerful fish. These, these fish can reach up to like 60 miles per hour. They're incredible species. They are like at the very top of the food chain when it comes to saltwater fish worldwide. I could go on and on about these fish. I have a, a huge amount of appreciation for bluefin tuna, but I'm not gonna bore you with all of that. But once we swim them and let them cool down, we then bring them in the boat and uh, get them ready for the feast. But yeah, this is a good fish. Uh, not the biggest, but it's a very good fish. And the cool thing is we're probably gonna keep uh, setting start. baits out there. Yeah, it's a good start, exactly. <laughs> we're gonna put some more bait out there. No guarantees we get another one, but it's cool to come out here on the coast of Maine and do this. It's just, I never knew, honestly, Maine had bluefin like this, but here we are now right in front of us. It was also really neat to jump in the water with that fish. Really different perspective of size once you're right up and close in its natural habitat, that being the Atlantic Ocean, but my God. Ooh. That is a 77 inch butter ball. 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 Yeah, heads up. Uh, watch out, Tate, watch out. Going we'll back over here with this one. Oh, watch out, Let's go, get ready, on ready, it. Ready, ready. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. We're hooked up, baby! Let's go, <laughs> round yeah, two! Okay. Could be a little bit bigger, Johnny. My dude. I was talking to the camera. I was literally talking to the camera, and I watched that rod go boop, 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 boop. And I'm Got like, on, baby. is that really a fish? <laughs> I think it's a fish. Yes, sir. Oh. Damn, we just got that door. 
two. Number two. Oh. Yeah, that's He's right kicked right on top. Kicked right on top. This fish is pissed off right now. I mean pissed off. Let's go! See you later, bitch! Come on! <laughs> Mad as hell. Put your, put your palm right here for me. Because yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen the drag a lot. Palm it hard. Yep. I'm gonna loosen, loosen the drag a lot. Keep your palm tight on it. Yep. Tight. What we did is uh, the drag's a little out of adjustment, so we brought it back, kept pressure on it because you don't want it to back spool, and then we increased the drag tension a little bit so it wasn't slipping as much. Hey, so that helped. Yeah. <laughs> the first saltwater bluegill was nice, but we got a uh, full groaner right here. This one's green as. You can kind of see it like just barely maybe. Haven't even really gotten a solid glimpse of this fish. We have no idea what tier it is, if it's a 70, an 80, or 90. No clue. But it is putting up a fierce fight, way fiercer than the last one. Doesn't mean that means it's bigger. It's packing a serious punch. I mean that leader. Oh my god, wow. what a unit. <laughs> there we have it. We would normally bring this fish into the boat, but like I said, one fish per day here in New England. We're just gonna literally take the hook out and send her on her way. That was quite a mighty fight, girl. Thank you so much for the love. It's a much bigger fish, too. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Good, right there, right there. There he goes. Swim, 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 swim. There we go, boy. Holy Caught boy. and safely released. Shout out to Griffin for getting in the water and getting some dope underwater B-roll. What a legend. That was a much bigger fish. That was so much fun. Two tuna. That's right, man. That's what we came out here for, man. That's what we came out here for. That was definitely a 90 incher. Beautiful fish. She was tall. She was girthy, as we like to say. Girthy. Hey, man. How you feeling? How you feeling? How's that Atlantic Ocean water? Holy Bro, he was doing like somersaults under the tuna. He was doing like, you could be an Olympic swimmer, bro. Oh my God. Dude, I got under that thing. 
I, I was friggin' chest. I was I was touching chest of that thing. He was like, we were like, we're like, yo, get under it. No, get around it. And like throwing the throwing the lifesaver at him, like hitting him in the head. And he's like, oh my god, this is. <laughs> well, now we gotta finish preserving this fish, getting him packed up after we just had that bite and released that 90 plus inch or whatever. So uh, we're gonna get this fish cleaned up. We're gonna get him bagged up, wrapped and packed in ice. And so it starts cooling him down. And then once we head in later on, we'll uh, get him to market. There you go, man. That's yours. Yes, thank you, man. How far was it in there? Right to his ass. Really? No. Just like... It was uh, right in his stomach, yeah. Looks like a mackerel. Mm -hmm. Good Pollock. I, need a hair. I called this. When we caught this fish, I figured when we opened up the stomach, there'd be everything but herring, which is what we caught it on. Sure enough, squid, pollock, and mackerel is what was in the stomach. So why the hell do you do herring? It doesn't make any sense. Tuna are so confusing. That's why these fish are difficult, man. They're just, get your head spinning. So this is how a fish should look when you bring them to the market. Cleaned out, packed with ice, covered with ice, completely submerged in ice or a slush tank to take care of the take care of your product. That's what you gotta do. Made it back. We're getting the boat docked up right now. Couldn't ask for a better day. Not one, but two tuna. And they got bigger. Unreal, unreal stuff. We're just gonna kind of lay low for a little bit. Ease our minds, rest our muscles, as we all deserve it right now. Gonna grab some grub and just kind of experience the main true way of life. It was just cool to get the opportunity to get that up and close with a bluefin tuna on our first outing. Again, I've said it a hundred times, but huge thanks to these boys for making this happen. So incredible. I'm about to hammer down. The frill. Yeah, dude. Four. Yeah. That's main freshness right there. Yeah, not about all. Cheers. It tastes like main in a bottle. We just crushed some lobster, some corn, courtesy of the folks. I'm hooted. I, and I can tell you guys are all hooted too. It got quiet. We were all high energy this morning, just zooming, chatting, getting stoked for the day. And adrenaline went like this. And then the, the post adrenaline rush is just like, we're right here. We're on that decline. Almost, honestly, we're about to plateau, but it's been such a good day. Hey, so nice to meet you. Thank you, you so much. I'll for see you around. Yeah. Really appreciate yeah, it. no problem. Yeah. And we'll be in touch about so I can show you that remote yeah. place. And are you guys going to be up here all summer? <laughs> oh, 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 just put hand sanitizer on my hand and I forgot that I cut it open while fishing today. That feels so good. What feels better is an accomplished day today. Wow, freaking wow. You guys, if you have not been to the Northeast, specifically Maine, make it happen. This is just a testament as to why this place is incredible. And we made something different happen today. Like I said, we love the small missions. We love pond bass fishing. But this is, in my opinion, true New England saltwater fishing. So be sure to like this video, comment. Let us know where our next mission should be. Uh, maybe next time we'll try to catch three tuna. Maybe even next time we'll try to catch that elusive seven, 800, 900, 1,000 pound tuna. But uh, you guys let us know in the comment section below. Really appreciate the view. We're peacing out, signing out. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.